This is the reason why I love Section 4 football, and especially the Newark Valley Cardinals this season. I quote from David Crow, a lot of people are saying that they didn't think we were the team we were last year because we lost Vinny. That was referring to Vinny Darpino. Well, David, Section 4 football thought you'd lose. Our sports director thought you'd get shellacked, but trust me. I've got confidence in the Valley. It was the state championship atmosphere at the Carrier Dome for Newark Valley and Utica Notre Dame. And right off the opening kickoff, the fun for the Cardinals was just beginning. Chad Wright gets the pigskin and in our ludicrous speed motion, heads into jugger territory to start the afternoon as Connor Coleman's little bro was loving every single minute of it. Three minutes later, Brett Stewart may be a shy guy on camera, but isn't shy to linebackers using every ounce of energy, crosses the goal line for the 6-0 lead and he had a lot of lovers in the stand holding number 11 signs. But the jugger strike back. A.T. Bianco to Devin Smith, and the tight end takes the contact and scores to take a 7-6 lead with six minutes left in the first. Last minute of the first, Nick Shermerhorn on fourth down, a little doot doot. That's good for the first down, and the spirit was all in the Cardinals' way because first play of the second quarter, Jacob Payne brought the pain. He was like Max Payne, pouring it all over the juggers, and the Valley is up 14-7. Now to some deep defense, Utica Notre Dame looking to punt. The snap goes just a bit high, and a bunch of white jerseys wrap them up to get great field position, and they would score on a halfback pass to lead 20 to seven at the break. And then things were heating up in the second half. On fourth and four, instead of punting, they call on the right stuff. Chad gets an amazing block from Shermerhorn and then cuts cross field, and it's a foot race between the safety and him, and Wright uses a little of that turbo trigger on his controller and scores to take a commanding 26-7 lead. And even Shenango forks Trevor Borchert. He was liking what he was seeing from the Cardinals. Take a look at that thumbs up. Yeah, buddy. And when the wind blows hard and the sky is black, Cardinals fly together. On third and seven in the fourth quarter, David Crow gets the sweep and turns on the Jets for the big time touchdown. The crowd going nuts in Syracuse and the boys continue to live out their slogan, let's start in the dome and end in the dome. It's really exciting. Our goal, our goal is just come out here and win and play physical because they didn't like it physical. So we came out here and just play as physical as we can, and we came out with a W. We're super excited to come to the Dome, but it's just another game. We're going to keep going week by week to play. We'll get there. It's when you walk out of that tunnel and you see this large open dome, it's something that, that uh, you know the boys are starting to get prepared for and then it gets us ready for those playoff scenarios. Cardinals take their momentum into week two against Spencer Van Etten in the Valley of Red.